third fluency component is prosody. And prosody may or may not be something you've heard of before. But to be a fluent reader, a reader must make the reading sound like conversational language to convey the meaning of text. What this means is that students have the ability to read with appropriate expression, phrasing, volume, with few pauses or breakdowns, and this would be modeling prosody. Also, the pace that fluent readers have will vary depending on the genre they're reading, the reading level that you have them reading, and also the amount of background knowledge or experience they have with the content of the text they are reading. So our prosody will change depending on our book, but overall, students that have prosody read smoothly. It sounds like you're talking. It has expression. It has phrasing. Um, and we're not going back all the time and fixing mistakes. So all of these components of fluency go hand in hand. The accuracy, the automaticity, and the prosody, they work together. Um, and so we pu we're pulling them apart right now, uh, independent of one another, but they really do need to be put together. Um, so I want you to just think of the, the prosody that you might have when you read. Think of a book that you can read and you can be smooth and expressive and you can look ahead to the punctuation to know, you know how to inflect your voice. You can also read it at a pace that's not too fast and not too slow. Then think about a, a textbook of content you're not familiar with. I, I know I've said before medical textbooks because they have enormous words. But think about your pace and your expression and your phrasing in that sort of text. This is what it feels like, again, to be a student reading a story that is at a higher reading level than they can be accurate in, or a student reading a book about content that they've never heard of before. It's just that much harder, and they will not have that prosody that they need to be fluent. So again, what fluency boils down to is a lot of practice, and maybe multiple practice with the same text, and putting the child in the appropriate story. That book has to be content they know. It has to be at that right reading level. And then you'll have success, and they will become fluent readers.